Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, so today we're gonna do air suspension. And we're not doing it on my X5. Um, I'm still in contact with the owner of my previous F15. He mentioned that the suspension starting to sag um, when the car sits for a long time. So guys, when your suspension sags, when you're looking at your rear shocks, um, what you'll notice, you know, maybe a few hours of the car is being parked, you'll see the car basically is sitting like you have a lot of weight in the back, right? Um, there, I've never placed it before. I read through instructions online. It seems like it would be kind of a straightforward thing. I have done rear shocks before. So I imagine the setup's gotta be somewhat similar. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna get the car jacked up and we'll get it started. But if you don't do this, what will happen is over time, Obviously the car, when you crank it up, it will raise up to its normal ride height and it'll drive fine. But like I said, extended parking times, the struts would lose air, which it causes your pump to work overtime. All right, so he's on his way now. When he gets here, we'll get started. And I'll go ahead and do the video. Hopefully everything goes by smoothly. What you're gonna need is two jack stands, need a nose pliers, you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket, a nine millimeter socket, a um, 10 millimeter uh, wrench, open-ended wrench, and obviously a 17 millimeter socket for moving the wheels. And these other things are optional, obviously a torque wrench is optional, but that's basically it. So that's all you need for tools. All right, so once again, we see the F15 back on the channel. It's got the winter tires on, but we're gonna go ahead and get this thing changed out. And you said right now they're not, it's not squatting, but normally you said within a few minutes to turn it off, it'll be sagging right now. Sagging real bad. Okay. All right. It's like one of those Stance Nation cars. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, We're going to need to jack up the vehicle from the rear differential and we're going to support it uh, from jack stands. Now there's two ways you can do this. We can do it through the computer with the uh, by disabling the rear air shocks and pulling the fuse. What we're going to do is we're actually going to pull the fuse from the air pump which will then disable the pump and then we can pull the lines and let it deflate that way. All right, the fuse we're going to take is number 110. And it is right there. If you're looking at a fuse box this way, from on the right side, this one here, number 40, we're gonna pull that fuse. And your fuse puller should be here. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna jack it up. I got some cloth here to try to protect the rear differential because I don't want the metal on metal. All right, we got it jacked up. We decided to use jack stands here. Those were, um... Those were my, that was for handling. Man, I thought BMW was good. You see the Porsche? And their seating position is a lot better. Like, well, at least the one I was at Cayman S and was down at uh, at the uh, Speedway in Vegas. Cause I was like, couldn't crash one of my favorite, you know, manufacturers. So, uh, yeah. So I was nervous as hell driving that Ferrari all the time, especially nervous driving it, you know. I took a little bit of search, but I still couldn't find much. But I decided to just gonna grab these clips. They're very hard to do. We try to unscrew them, but. We get even those pliers, you should be able to just remove it, grab it, hold of it, and just pull it straight down. Um, so let's see, I'll show you guys what to do. A little 
wiggle and that's all it takes. Everything in the plate, we just unplug these. And red is number one and blue is number two. We can plug them back in. Okay, so we're good then, because now we can squeeze the bag. So that's it. The foil the bag was just firm. So I'm zoo is. Okay, so here it's gonna be a little challenging. I have to remove these, this thing. I gotta clamp, basically squeeze these two in. And I'm show them this place. You can show them here. Here's a yeah. So you gotta squeeze these in, but the angle that I'm at makes it hard to put any type of plier in there. So I'm gonna try that now on video, see if I can get that done. Come on, one may have to help me with this one. If I can even get a hand through here. It's hard because it's right there. Yeah. Got another like a, uh, oh that flathead. You got to pinch from this side, you pinch from that side maybe. That's right. We just pushed it up out of the way, and it should be a clockwise or counterclockwise turn. There it goes. So we pop that out. Is it clock? A little bit more. Let's try. You hold this. Gotta go this way. <laughs> oh yeah, if you get close up, you'll see all the wear and tear on this thing, especially right there. Stress, this is over time. Yeah. So I'm gonna use my little wrench to take that off.
break the boot. We're not using it. So how are you going to put it through next one? That's true. So we got to move this leaf. Let's get that going. Okay. Oh, that thing is brittle. It broke. Oh, we're gonna get another one. I mean, it's probably not even gonna be able to put it back. Fortunately, fortunately, that fitting that broke in half. Uh, we we're able to. It, the new suspension came with new hardware, so I was able to get that separately. So lightsaber. I almost thought we. Kill this car, and the thing is, it would have worked, but that fitting keeps the line from sliding, sliding out. And last thing you want is the airline to back out after, especially after install. So, this I'm gonna do is hook this back in here, turn it clockwise. I think it was counterclockwise to remove, so clockwise to lock it in, and then we'll go from there. Towards the top, do a clockwise turn. Once I feel that is in here, rotate that. Yeah. We gotta get uh, the dot. There's like a little bump on the bottom there. We gotta line up on that. Yeah, yeah, troll arm too. Okay. See? Oh, I see it. See it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it right here. Yeah. Only came out when you turned, I think. on jack stands right so we could uh jack this up into it this one hasn't been stretched out yet yeah that's probably why that, that's probably why all right let's do that let's take jack off here jack up here to push up into because right now we're still supported by the jack stands Yep. 
Tell me when I get close. Please. You keep going. You got about two inches. You're about an inch and a half away. About an inch. Line up here, right? Yep. Oh, no, you got it. Mm -hmm. We're lined up. Lined up. We just gotta pull, you gotta angle a little bit, pull the bag over. All right. Try to see if I can move the clip into there. Let's take something off. Let's get it to here. Right there. Mm -hmm. And we'll push those clips in if I can. All right, that looks like it'll be. It's in. Okay. You can show under it. Put the clips in it. See it? Mm hmm. Alright, I'm gonna take it down. Watch yourself. The suspension should stay in there, right? Yep. And we are connected. The bag just looks ugly, stretched, that's about it. Put back on a differential just to have that extra support again. I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm still good here. back in. That should be it.
And that's it. Um, it was pretty straightforward. I think the main thing to remember is on your new suspension, make sure that there's new hardware in the box. I did break the brass fitting on the other side too. It was just hard to slide that thing off the airline. And another thing is just be careful when you jack in the car, make sure your wheels are chalked, you're blocked because even the parking brake is on the rear wheels only. As soon as you lift that rear axle, it can go forward. So just the FYI, keep that in mind. I'm not a certified mechanic, so please be careful to attempt this stuff on your own risk. But this is a fairly straightforward thing. I, I was intimidated by this at, at first um, because I didn't have the right computer system. But um, it turns out you can access the pump from underneath the car and just unplug it and deflate the lines that way. So guys, if you found this video helpful, it would mean a lot to me if I give you a thumbs up. And if you like the content, you know, like the BMW content, X5 that content, uh, just consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. Alright guys, so one week later, I sent a follow up to Rondell to ask him about the suspension and see how they've been holding up. Um, and it's been great. So I think these are really good. I'm order a set for myself. So when they fail in the X5M, I'll have them ready to go. And anyway, I appreciate everybody's watching and, um, you know, obviously he came over and helped me with the cameras. So that was pretty good. But, uh, thanks guys. Thanks again.